Mm, God. Whoa, Bo, this is a lot of fresh veg. What are you doing? Well, there's not many farmer's markets left in the season, so I thought we'd stock up, but I don't know what we're gonna do with all these vegetables. Oh, I got a great idea. Let's call Chef Micah. That's a great idea. I'll call him later. Talk the moves that you're doing on purpose, sing like a sing donkey. Talk to the girl that intimidates you, pretend that you're brilliant and charming. I said pretend that you're brilliant and charming. Hey! Everybody, welcome in later with Jason Sewell, the later band, sounding great, getting us always fired up. Shredding it. Always shredding it over there, yeah. yeah. Okay, we talked about this last week, but this week we're definitely in there. We're rolling through fall, man. We Can you are. Believe it? We are. The, the the greatest thing is we're eating more. We're we're going <laughs> That's out the great more. Thing. We're we're gaining weight. <laughs> yes. We're but the fall harvest. You know, it's kind of true though because uh, as those days kind of get shorter, it's so easy just to stay inside, yeah. stream some television and throw back some pork rinds. Binge, binge, just all the binging. All the right? binging. And this fall weather, like you're mentioning, it's so great. It's crisp outside. And I know that you're a guy, we talked about this before, you like to wear like long sleeves and long pants. It's your season. All year round, baby. All year round. Yeah, and now it doesn't feel so weird. <laughs> and hopefully this show doesn't feel weird. We're going to have a great show. It will. Like lined up for you got brandy goddard here she's gonna be filling us in on some things that you can do from home now that those kids have gone back to school we're gonna be talking about fitness wellness everything that you need to do to stay fit this fall plus we've got a great band common roots is joining us i love this brother sister duo they're back on the program once again and then down there at our chef's table we've got the chef from the hive at 21c in bentonville joining us micah klasky what do we got chef micah Today we got a little bit of seared pork belly and heirloom tomatoes. Yes! I'm so glad Brandy's here too, because I'm gonna eat so much pork belly, but then I don't want to have a pork belly. Right, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I feel like we've said pork more in this segment right here than we've ever said in the show before, pork, ever. Pork, 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 all the pork. pork's happening, stick around, more Swedish fun chef. later. <laughs> We are at Walton Art Center's Joy Pratt Markham Gallery. It's that time of year again. It's time for another Our Art, Our Region, Our Time. You know, Walton Art Center, known for their performing arts, but visual art is also part of their DNA. Let's go chat with Jason and Amy about this year's exhibition. Jason Smith joining me now, one of the visual arts leads here at Walton Art Center, and we're standing in the beautiful Joy Prep Markham Gallery. It's time once again to welcome back our art, our region, our time. Thanks for having us out. Thank you for coming. Yeah, for sure. So remind me again, what will people experience when they come to our art, our region art? We really wanted to kind of make the statement that this isn't about one artist, it's about multiple artists, yeah. right? And so you walk into the room, and instantly, you know two completely different paintings yeah. that says, hey, there's something new and different here. And what our art has really helped us to see, especially now that we're in our third year, is just the variety of, of creativity. Um, it is, uh, it, every year there are pieces that just blow our minds. So Jason, I know viewers right now are gonna wanna come and check this out for themselves. How can they do that? Well, they, the gallery is open now until October 29th. Um, and so you can see that show Monday through Friday, 10 to 2 p.m. Or we open the gallery one hour before curtain time. Okay. So if the show starts at 8, at 7 p.m., the gallery opens so, so that you can come see the show. And it will be open during intermission as well. Okay, so get your tickets and then get here maybe a little bit early. Exactly. Uh, so you can come and check out this art. Of course. Well, thanks for having us out again. It's, it's beautiful. my pleasure and thank you for, for oh, sharing yes. us with your beauty. Yeah. Artist Amy Scoggins joining me now. I'm so glad to have you. It's nice to be here. Yeah. Let's talk about your life as an artist. How long have you been doing this? Huh. 
<laughs> um, well, my dad is an art teacher, was an art teacher. He recently retired. Um, so since birth, I've had a box of art supplies under my bed that was larger than I was. And so I don't really remember a time that I wasn't creating, you know, creating right. something. Yeah. yeah. And this art, the one that's behind us, you have two pieces in this exhibition, but this one that we're standing in front of, it's big. Where did your inspiration come from for it, this one? This one dove into a world of crazy experimentation. Um, this was supposed to be a painting, and but I had charcoal in my hand and I started kind of laying out the basic drawing of it. And so that turned into this really exciting layering of uh, glue washes and India ink and pastels. Um, and eventually a little bit of paint. Take me to that moment when you learned that you were going to be a part of this exhibition here. I was so excited. It was extremely encouraging because, yeah, I just developed a great fondness um, for this exhibit. So to get to bring both of my most recent pieces to the show, it was an honor. Walton Art Center really wants to give you a hand at accessing local art. That's why you got to come down here to the Joy Pratt Markham Gallery before our art, our region, our time closes. It's so great. I'm going to go take a stroll around and take in more art. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. We've got Brandy Goddard, friend of the show, always on to talk about fitness, wellness. Thanks for being here. Appreciate your time. I love it. Yes, we love having you. And you know, I thought what we could do is focus on how it's fall now. We've mm -hmm. got a lot of kiddos who've either gone back to like school, grade school, high school, or even college. So a lot of us parents got a lot of time on our hands. Yes, finally. Yeah, right? Yes. But also I've noticed there's a lot of clutter around my house. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if you have any tips on how we can use our time wisely, constructively, as we're cleaning up the house and maybe work a little bit of fitness mm -hmm. into that as well. Even for folks like Bo, who doesn't have kids, but obviously uh, has- I mean, I've got employees, money. which is right. kind of like having kids. Yeah, at 100%. <laughs> so how do we clean up and stay fit? Yeah, that's a great combo. And I think people forget about how we can actually make that to fitness and exercise and burn calories. Yeah. So I would think, what I do, is I will combine vacuuming and mopping together. Make oh. that the same day type of thing. So what if you have a robot that does it for you? <laughs> mm, not want to get rid of that okay. robot right. boat. Yeah. Speaking of getting rid of clutter, I actually was in my garage last weekend going through boxes of pictures and every letter I've kept from everyone. But I found a picture actually, Bo, of me and the kids. Um, I'm in like cleaning in a towel on my head and a mop and they're sitting there on my fitness stuff and, and promoting that even though you're cleaning, you've got kids, that it is important to keep wanting to keep things clean and to move your body at the same yeah. time. You just become a better human. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So so to that end, let's say that you feel like you've mastered, you've got, mm -hmm. you've got inside down and now it's time to maybe venture outside. Yeah. Uh, what are some tips there that we can utilize to keep ourselves fit during the fall, these nice temperatures around our house, around mm -hmm. the region? Well, I think we need to first start with knowing this is a new season of life. And what do I want to do with it? How do I want my um, life to look for myself and to feel better? So if we kind of recognize that first, that can help us to build a schedule and how we're going to do that. You have to um, hold that for yourself. Like find the time of the day. What day is it going to be? Stay true to it. Even if you're not in the mood, if you don't have, you don't have the feels for it, you can't go on on that. You have to say, I committed this to myself, whatever this looks like, and start creating that in your schedule. Yeah. And then it just becomes a new habit. And another thing I heard you talk about was having an accountability partner, mm -hmm, right? How mm -hmm. essential is that when you're kind of breaking old routines and starting new ones? Yes, it's very important because it helps your mindset and feel more positive because you're you're not only they're helping you, you're helping them as well. And, we, and it's so good to feel that we're, you know, helping others at the same time. So having that accountability is going to make you really want to be there with them. You don't want to let them down. And then at the end, you both feel great because you did what you wanted to do for yourself. Yeah. And how important is it to kind of check that list, right? Yeah. I wanted to do something and now I've done it. Yeah. And only that you get to feel the internalness of how that does for your body. Yeah. And then you want to, your kids see it. Yeah. And then you're motivating them to to keep moving, not sitting around in their room playing video games. You know, that's one of the great things I feel like as I continue down my fitness path and my mm -hmm. fitness journey is to kind of be uh, something that the kids can look up to, yes. right? Because I'm not just sitting around being mm -hmm. sedentary and, and watching streaming all day. Definitely. So, they need us right now because yeah. all they see is sitting around 
TikToks and things like that. So we now have a responsibility, not only as parents, but as, you know, being adults now is to be moving and being outside and, and having friends and making yeah. that effort. Yes. It's not easy when you're a really busy person. Oh, absolutely right. And Bo, I know you're a really busy person. We were talking at the <clears throat> beginning of the show. We we're talking about uh, our, our love and affection for pork and pork rinds and pork belly and how we like to stream stuff. What are your big takeaways from our visit with Brandy? Well, I mean, healthy habits are, are, are good to start. I mean, uh, it's so easy, like you said, to get in that routine and just come home, sit on the couch, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, I... I'm very thankful that my daily routine keeps me on my feet all the time because I my, my work is on my feet. So I have to remember though that that is my work. So when I do get home, I don't want to just plop on. I want to keep that inertia up and stay active because uh, you know it's hard to look this good at my age and, <laughs> and it takes a lot more work than people think. No, that's absolutely true. And I love what you said about keeping the inertia up. Okay. Sometimes when I come from exercising, I'll go right into cleaning up because I've mm -hmm. got that kind of adrenaline going. Yes. And I know if I put it off and I sit down, that it's just going to linger and I might not even mm -hmm. do it. Right? Not only so. that too, you already have your blood flow and then your mind's in a better place. You're going to actually clean um, faster and probably uh, more e efficient yeah. than just like, okay, I guess I'm going to get up and work at, you know, right. do something around the house now. Yeah. Okay, so if people want to reach out to you, what's your website? How can they do that? Yes, it's brandygodder.com. Just that's, my name. That's a, but that's mm -hmm. easy. Yeah, and yeah. not only that, they're going to see pictures of what I do and testimonies and things like that so they can really get to know me. Yeah, that's it. you got to reach out to Brandy. She does a great job. Thanks for bringing in all the energy, helping us feeling refreshed and revived and ready to plan our routine for this week. I love week. it. Let's do it, guys. Let's, Let's make do it. Change. Yes. All right, stick around. We've got more fun happening later. Our musical guest brought to you by Walton Art Center. Walton Art Center, presenting the West Street Live series.
Yes, everybody, we're down here at the chef's table. We've got Chef Micah Klasky from The Hive joining us. Thanks for being here, Chef. Thank you for having me. You already got that fired up I'm over trying, there. I'm trying, I'm trying not to smoke out the stadium. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, yeah. We don't I want mean, to do that. cast iron. If you're cooking anything, <laughs> yeah, cast iron. It's hard to argue with black steel, you know? What are we going to, yeah. what are you going to cook in that thing? All right, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this pork belly that we've uh, cured overnight and then smoked and then cooled and sliced. Yeah. So, and, uh, is this all like... Did you grow these? Are these farmers markets? I did not. Local farmers grew these. We've got those, uh, you know, we've got an amazing produce. What kind from, of pepper is this? That is a Fresno chili. Oh, There's going to be oh. a little bit of heat there. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, I anticipated this, sir. I brought you some pimento cheese and toast this time <laughs> for you to snack on. Oh, good. Look at that. And the world's tiniest eggplant. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Isn't that adorable? How does it taste? How is that the flavor combo? It tastes like the garden. It tastes like the <laughs> garden. That's, that's what you want, right? Oh, and look at this. That's a, is this a tomato? It's a special uh, it tomato. It is a nice little heirloom tomato. We yeah. Got, um, so, so these are different colors than what I'm used to looking at with tomatoes. Do they right, taste right. any different? Well, you know, they taste uh, more delicious, I would say. Okay. You know, they're a little bit, uh, you know, heirloom tomatoes, they, they are going to have slightly different flavor profiles, um, slightly different textures. Um, ideally, you, you know, you're still getting that nice, um, just juicy bite of tomato. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, And texture. I find a lot of the, like, the, the, the tomatoes that you buy at your big box like grocer, they're 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 kind of slimy and like like sandy. Like, Absolutely, it's gritty. Use? It's gritty. Yes, thank you. Yeah. And good quality heirloom tomatoes have like just a fruity, juicy, just ah, oh, they're so good. And these things I could eat like candy. Yes, yeah, so good. Mm. So what do you put? I saw you did salt there, and now you're drizzling it with some stuff. Is salt? this bacon bits? What's this here? Salt, that is mirage chili flake. It's just oh. a, a nice floral chili that we like to use. It has okay. a very subtle heat, but it is present. Um, so what I'm hitting these with is just mm. a little bit of salt, a little bit of red wine vinegar, and some olive oil. Okay. Um, you always salt your tomatoes. Always, always. Always. Yeah, I mean, ideally. Even if you're putting them on a sandwich. Salt those things. Wow. Okay. Oh, and then you got some goop. What we is got this? some uh, delicious goop that we make there as well in house at, at the hive. Uh, so this is a fermented hot sauce aioli. So what we do is we get some nice local chilies. Uh, we lacto ferment them, which is basically just soak them in a salt water solution of water. Science stuff. Salt water solution yes. of water. I said that. Salt water um, solution of water. Yeah. And then you uh, can, if we have the fire truck show up, that'd be amazing. Uh, it's just a detector. All right. <laughs> Need a, a, a ladder and a stick. Go. Ah. And then no, you've right. got the, the, the seared pork belly. And bellies. you've got the very important chef's tweezers. I brought, yeah, again, the Frankenstein. And the only reason I call them that is because I had to have my engineering department put them bolts. back together with bolts in the neck. <laughs> okay. So why not buy a new set? Is it cooler to have the bolts in? Yeah. Just, I mean, is it not? Yeah, I mean, it, it is, is cool. It's <laughs> so much cool. flavor yeah. left right. in there, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> They're seasoned. Yes. They've got, yeah, they have legs. You know, they've been yeah. around. And then uh, we make breadcrumbs in-house uh, from some bread that we bake in-house. Uh, you know, we'll take all the trim and then, you know, like the, the whole yeah. utilization you is do one of my lot favorite things. Yeah. 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 Um, essentially, what I'm doing here is building a BLT, if you if you haven't kind of okay, picked so up on Okay, so it's like that. a deconstructed BLT. It's like a broken bread. down BLT. So yeah. this will give it a little bit of crunch, a little bit of texture. So, you know, we'll have this nice, like, vegetal Ooh, deliciousness from the tomatoes. You gotta it have a like lettuce. Basil. Is this the lettuce? And then this would be the, the green aspect yeah. of the dish. So we've got a little bit of fresh basil. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit Ooh, of that, that uh, is you know, fragrance. Oh, yeah, another right? micro green. Yeah. What is, what is there is one? another micro green. That is a sunflower. Oh, yeah, a little sunflower green. Um, you know, we like to, you know, again, another one of these nice. lovely local products that we get. Folks are really excited about what you do there at your restaurant. Give us the details. Where you located? What's your website? How do people book a time if they want to come eat? We are in uh, downtown Bentonville, just right off the square at 200 Northeast A Street. We are located in the Hive, or we are the Hive, located in um, the 21C Museum Hotel. So if you're a fan of art, you're a fan of good food, you're a fan of great cocktails, come on down. You know, um, all of those things. Yes. Yeah, all those things. We've got, uh, you know, and there's plenty of walking around to do down in that area. If you haven't been to downtown Bentonville, Beautiful space, great bike riding. We've right. got a trail that goes straight from the hotel to Crystal Bridges. If you've got buildings you can ride your bike into. Yeah, that's you right. can you ride can your up into, literally. around, and up to the top. It's and I want to say, even if you've been to downtown Bentonville, but you haven't been there in the last like three months, it's completely changed. I mean, it's every changing time. all the time. And all if you don't go time. now, it'll be different the next, <laughs> the next time, time you go. Yeah, yeah so, so it, you know, no matter when you go, there's going to be something new to do. Thanks for dropping by and making all this for us today. We appreciate you. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, right. stick Maybe around. we got more happening later.
Yes, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Later with Jason Sewell. Remember, you can find us out there on your social media platforms or send us an email over at laterwithjasonsewell.com. And before we leave, we got to thank all of our amazing guests, including the one and only Brandy Goddard for joining us. And, of course, yeah. Chef Micah from The Hive and those tweezers. Yes, and how about that music video from Common Roots? That's our show. We'll see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile.